Hello lovelies, here are Dr Edwards' predictions for 2023. Now this is for NXL Biology Paper 2 and don't forget that every single one of the papers here in the playlist linked in the description, you will see that we have done paper walkthroughs for you. So for all four of the papers, there is a detailed walkthrough taking you through exactly what you need to know. So clues in the question, um, any science that we need to explain, how to structure your answer, how you can look at the clues, look at the number of marks, look at the what's working, so you can get as many marks possible in the exam. Now I'm going to go through combined science first, and then I'm going to go through separate science. So if you want to skip to separate science, and you can use the chapters, you can use the timestamps to do that bit. Please remember that we have not seen the actual paper for this year. We do not work for the exam board. We are not affiliated with any exam boards. You really, really should revise absolutely everything. But if you are looking for somewhere to start, if you are looking for a point to kick off your vision, if you're a bit lost and confused. So for combined science, we really like ecosystems. So organisation within an ecosystem is a big topic. Now, there are lots of things that could fit into this. One of the bits we would really like you to look at, how it fits into this, is biotic and abiotic factors. So the differences between them, how increasing or decreasing one of those could affect a population. Um, so the, the changes within the ecosystem, potentially even biodiversity. Now the circulatory system is a big, big topic. So we would really like you to look at that. So the structure and the function of the circulatory system, how it interacts with other systems, so how it interacts with the respiratory system, the structure structure of the heart, the structure of the, the blood vessels, the arteries, the veins, the capillaries, and the components that we can find in blood. How they all interact with each other. Linked into this, we'd also like you to look at response to exercise. So how does your body respond when you do exercise? What goes up, what goes down? So looking at respiration, anaerobic respiration, linked into exercise. So two linked topics we'd like to look at are menstrual cycle hormones. So what goes up, what goes down, how they interact with each other. And then we'd like you to look at contraception. Now this is a really, really big topic. A sort of thing that would lend itself to a six mark question. So looking at the comparison between barrier and non-barrier, maybe advantage or disadvantage of barrier and non-barrier methods of contraception. Linking into that, there is also IVF, which we would like you to look at. So some people might have lots of objections to this, to IVF for a number of different reasons, but some people really want IVF for lots of different reasons. So not only the science behind it, but also linking it into the, the social side of it as well. So we would like you to look at photosynthesis in quite a lot of detail. So not only the equation, but the, the process involved, the, the leaf, the parts of the leaf that it takes place in, and what things affect, so what limiting factors there are on photosynthesis. We could link this into the carbon cycle as well. This is quite an important thing. And this could even be linked back right to the thing that I said at the beginning, organizing things within an ecosystem, including the practical photosynthesis. The other practical we'd like you to look at is the osmosis practical. Now, obviously, please revise all of the practicals in detail. And when you're revising practicals, what we want you to think about is the variables. What sort of things you could be changing? What sort of things you could be changing in your measuring? So don't just look at the practical instructions. Think about all the things, the different things that you could do, change, all the different things you could measure, anywhere that could go wrong, anywhere you could improve the practical. Chances are it's going to be a data logger. So we'd like you to look at enzymes and digestion and again the food test practical. Now in enzymes and digestion there are lots of what did what where and how do the enzymes actually work. And then the last thing we'd like you to look at for combined science control of blood glucose. So that is our list of things that you should start your revision with. Those are the lists of like key focus areas, but obviously you need to revise absolutely everything in great detail because if you're aiming for those top marks, the key thing is to get as many marks as possible. And something that I haven't mentioned might come up as a three mark question and those three marks might be the absolute key. So please revise absolutely everything. So for separate signs, if you're looking at an area to start your vision with, these are the key areas we would focus on. And if you'd like some explanation of exam questions about these, then don't forget to go and watch the paper walkthrough that we've done for you, explaining all of this science and explaining how to interpret what sort of things the examiners are looking for if they write a question in this way. 
Now, we'd like you to look at organisation within an ecosystem. So this is quite a big topic and there are lots of things we can link into this. So it can be linked to the biodiversity or it can be linked to biotic and abiotic factors. So the differences between them, what happens when you increase or decrease one of those, what happens when you remove a biotic or an abiotic factor and how they are important. The carbon cycle is another thing that could link into this. Now, there were lots and lots of parts involved in the carbon cycle. So make sure you learn all the processes, all the names of the processes and how they interact with each other really well. So we'd like you to look at control of blood glucose. Now, this is quite a complicated topic. There are lots of bits that you need to know in this. So please make sure you study all the interactions really carefully. Now, one of the practicals we'd like you to look at is the osmosis practical. Now, please, when you're looking at practicals, revise all the practicals in detail because we know these are going to come up. We know they're going to be 15%. And what we'd like you to do is to look at the practical and think, right, this is the independent variable. What are the different independent variables we could have? This is the dependent variable. What are the changes we can make the different independent variables that we could have in a practical? Because we know this is the thing that comes up in the exam. So osmosis and photosynthesis are the practicals we fancy for this year. One big topic that could come up is a circulatory system, so structure and function. So structure of all the different bits, so the hearts, all the arteries, the veins, the capillaries, how it links into different things like the respiratory system, the digestive system, and what we can do for any problems that we come across in the circulatory system. Now, exercise is a really important topic. So response to exercise. How does your body and circulatory system respond to exercise? We'd like you to spend some time looking at plants. So not only photosynthesis and the photosynthesis practical, but plant responses as well. And looking at gas exchange, not only in plants, but in human systems as well. We'd like you to spend some time looking at menstrual cycle hormones. So what interacts with what, what triggers what, what goes up when, what happens when this goes up or down. And then we'd like you to link that into not only contraception, but IVF as well. So for contraception and IVF, there could be some big six mark questions on this. For example, the advantages or disadvantages of barrier and non-barrier contraceptives, or people could ask you to evaluate the use of IVF, not only the science behind it, but the social side of IVF as well. And then the last thing on my list is looking at enzymes, digestion, and food tests as well well. So the names of all the enzymes, the functions of all the enzymes and how you could test for all the things that the enzymes break down as well. So if you're stuck for where to start your revision, that list there is what we suggest that you focus on. And if you're worried about the science behind any of that, how to answer any questions or any of that, then the paper walkthroughs is the bit that I would definitely recommend you go and check out. Dr. Edwards and I are going to be here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.